in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, all praise be to him who is the King of kings and Lord of lords. May all the blessings and bounties be on the holy soul of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Listeners and viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hope you all are doing good with the last days of Ramadan. This time we have a bit different thing to talk about. You see, every one of us dreams as a natural phenomena. Some have more dream visions than others. Studies and researches reveal that a person who lives for uh, 60 or over 60 years sleeps for 20 to 25 years. And out of that time period, one dreams for five to seven years. Imagine how long time we have where we dream. This is why humans have been curious to know about the meanings of dream, why dreams, how dreams, dream phenomena, what is the effect of the dream on human mind, human soul, human body and human life. This is why we see almost in all the religious scriptures there is mention of dreams almost in all the mythology, Hindu mythology, Greek mythology, uh, Egyptian mythology, we find uh, the, the discussions and mention of, of dreams. Uh, if we come to the Holy Quran as the last word of Allah Almighty, there are some dreams and as well as uh, all those dreams, most of the dreams are about the Holy, about the Prophets. Like the dream of uh, uh, Prophet Ibrahim, the dream of Prophet Yusuf salam. Similarly, there are a dream of the king of the Egypt, right? It means dreams are important and Quran, Holy Quran also recognizes the importance of the dreams. Uh, likewise, if we search dreams in the books of Adis, we find them there and the two most important, most authentic books on the sayings of the Holy Prophet, Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Muslim, they both contain separate chapters on dream, on the importance of dreams uh, as well as on the dream interpretation. And this was the practice of the Holy Prophet that after every Fajr prayer, he would ask his companions, his Sahaba about their dreams for the interpretation. And there is very popular saying of the Holy Prophet that the dream vision of a pious man is the 46th part of the prophecy. So dreams are visions, dreams are some signs, that dreams are some messages from the Allah Almighty as well, the good dreams, the, the spiritual dreams. And in the books of Adis, uh, um, we find that there are uh, two types of dreams, rather three types of dreams. One is the good dreams. Number two, the bad dreams and number three, the dreams which come out of our soul and subconscious mind. Uh, this is why we have the teachings that when you have any good dream, some good dream vision and when you rise in the morning, you have good feelings, you feel happy about your dream. So Holy Prophet says that always tell your dream, always speak about your dream to the person who is honest with you, who is sincere with you, who loves you, who thinks good of you because whatever the interpretation you get from the person, the same can, can come true. So always uh, speak of your dream to the person who is really sincere to you, who is your friend, your family member or whatever. If you are having any bad dream where you have some bad dream vision, it may be from shaitan where uh, you have different things like you are dying, you are drowning, you are escaping from somewhere, you find yourself naked in the public, you want to speak up but you fail to utter a single word, uh, you, are, you, are, you are falling down from the heights and you feel that you are in trouble in, 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 in some trap and uh, you are failing to come out of that. So if you have this kind of dream and when you rise in the morning, you have very bad feelings, you are frightened, you are scared and you feel that something wrong is going to take place or something wrong has taken place. So again, the teachings of the Holy Prophet uh, say that when you have this kind of feeling, when you rise in the morning, say Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim for three times and dry spit over your left. It will help you prevent the bad effect of that dream and never talk about such kind of dream to any other person. Don't express this to others. If you do this, like if you say Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim for three times and dry spit over your left, it will help you, it will protect you from the evil effect. And the third type of dream that is uh, from your soul, from your subconscious mind all the day long, the things you think about, you plan and your desires and your wishes or whatever uh, you observe uh, during your daytime, you have these visions in the, in the, in the, in the, in the dreams. 
So the dreams which are from the Allah Almighty are the spiritual dreams, good dreams, they have meanings, they, they, they have sense and they have interpretation. So we must always uh, speak uh, to the to those people who are sincere to us. Normally we make a mistake that when we have a bad dream, we have a bad vision, we we express it to others and whatever uh, interpretation they make, the same can, 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 can take place, the same can come true. So always hold it to yourself and don't uh, verbalize it to others. Uh, as I told earlier that we all are very conscious about our dreams and we want dream interpretation and this is why we keep looking for such persons who are good dream interpreters, who have this skill, who have this knowledge. So today I have brought a book for you that is about the dream interpretation. Though the book is in Urdu language and it was written by uh, Alama Ibn Sirin, it's very popular. He was from uh, one of the Tabain of the uh, Holy Prophet, I mean he was the companion of the companions of the Holy Prophet and this is really a very classical and masterpiece uh, on the dream interpretation, importance of dream and it is not only about the dream inter interpretation, it is also a dictionary of the dreams, whatever the object that you, uh, you see in the dream whatever the place you see, whatever the thing you see, whatever the person you meet, maybe from prophets, maybe the holy prophet as well, maybe some saints, uh, some places, fruits, vegetables, animal, birds, whatever you have in your dream, the interpretation is given in this book. If you are interested uh, to know about your dream, then go for this book. It will not uh, cost much, maximum you will be, it will be costing you uh, 1000 rupee if you have this book so this is your dream interpreter it will help you to know about your dreams so you will be uh, your 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 problem will be solved anymore when you fail to find such persons who are the good dream interpreters so this book will help you as a dream interpreter it will guide you it will tell you the meaning of your dreams so i will recommend you to go for this we have english version of this book as well in the market but urdu is also available it's, it is up to your choice that which book you go for so this was simple about the dream, dream interpretation, types of dreams and importance of dream in the in the in the holy scripture, I mean in the holy book, in the in the hadith of the holy prophet. Thank you so much.